Hello, welcome to chapter 27, part 1, Bootstrap Media Object, brought to you by Anchor Technologies. My name is Arish. In this session, we are going to learn how to create the Bootstrap Media Object. Right now, let us understand that very clearly. Keep in mind, the Bootstrap Media Object is used to add media objects which include images, videos. And coming to the second point, Bootstrap Media Object, it places the images or videos on the left or right side aligned with the content such as tweets, blog and YouTube comments. I hope all of you have seen the tweets, blog and YouTube comments. How do they look? In order to demonstrate that, right now what I've done, I've opened a YouTube channel called Ankpro Training, my channel Ankpro Training. And here, uh, to this video like uh, Stack and Heap, they have commented telling like, uh, what about the field of class? Okay, that, that is the comment and our objective is to understand very clearly right now like How to create uh, This format like a image uh, heading and a body Okay, how to create this type of thing like this one we, are, we have a image and this is this is this can be done Okay using the bootstrap media object in the sense we should have a image uh, which is aligned right or left and immediate to that you should have content okay how do I create this type of comments it's very simple and that can be done using the bootstrap media object right now let me jump into visual studio and let me start coding okay before that let me tell you what I'm going to cover in this session in this session I'm going to create default media as well as nested media now in order to work with the bootstrap media classes I need a set of uh, classes okay and those classes are media it is used to create the default media object and we have media left and right to align the image or video respectively left and right and media or body if you wish to add a uh, content to the media object then we can we should make use of this media body and inside the body if you wish to add a heading to that media object then I need to make use of media heading class right now let me make use of all these classes present here and let me create a um, bootstrap media object so let me jump into visual studio now what I'll do is this is empty web project and you can observe I've added a reference of bootstrap as well as jQuery and also to my solution I've added a new folder called image in this image folder we have two images telling like sham and ram okay now let me jump back here and right now let me show you how to create a bootstrap media object so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to create a bootstrap media object which consists of a image and also a question okay in the sense some content okay now what I'll do I'll take a dual element to this dual element let me add a class called media and this creates a default media object now um, next objective is I want to place uh, image of a person who is questioning to the left so what I'll do is I'll take another due element to that due element let me add a class called media left and inside this media left class I need to add an image in the sense media so uh, I wish to make that image as an uh, hyperlink so I'll take an anchor tag to this anchor tag I'll set a value ash and after that I'll add an image right now let me add an image of sham to this okay control s and after that what I need to do is to my image class to my, to my image tag I need to add a class called media object control s let me scroll down and after this we have placed the image perfectly now let me add um, body how do I add it it's very simple I need to take a due element to this due element let me add a class called media body and inside the body I need to add a paragraph okay the paragraph is something like uh, the sham is questioning like um, let me add a question the question is something like um, how can we create a series of tweets block comment threads uh, or using bootstrap it's very simple so let me copy and paste it here and about that let me add a heading okay uh, telling like uh, the guy who is commenting here is sham okay and let me tell him uh, tell the user like on what date or what month he has commented so let me take small tag and inside the small tag let me take uh, italic element and let me add like August 15th he has commented control s and now uh, let I should add a class called uh, media heading to this because it 
it is adding like it's selling the name and the date control s when i go back and when i refresh this page it looks like this you can observe your sham is is image and the adding and the content the content is how can we create a series of tweets block comment threads and using bootstrap i hope this resembles this comment present here okay now what i have to do is i have to increase the size of this uh, row so what i have done right now i have taken only bootstrap grid class called large phi let me increase it to 8 control s let me go back and let me refresh you can observe here this looks better okay I hope you understand this very clearly now what I'll do is uh, let me show you the second set of classes that is media left and right I've already made use of this media left so my image is it sitting to the right if I wish to push this image to the right then I need to make use of this class media right so how do I do that uh, instead of left I wish to add right control s so uh, let me go back and let me refresh control f5 okay Oh, I need to do another thing that is I want to place this image below the body right now if I wish to make my image to sit at the, sit at the right control V control S let me go back and let me refresh you can observe my content here is here and my image is on the right okay so uh, why we are getting this cap because this is of call large 8 and the content is of only this much and this it is not spanning here so what I'll do I'll push this image uh, very closer by making my call large class phi coming back and let me refresh you can observe your our image is your city next to this content okay if I wish to push my image to the right then I need to do two things one I need to add a class called media right and after that I have to uh, push this uh, due element which is having a class media right below this due element which is having a class body okay I hope you understood let me do control Z such that it renders the earlier one okay control s let me go back and let me refresh this was the earlier thing now uh, we learned like how to build a default media now let me uh, make you understand what is this nested media okay nested media in the sense let me go back to my channel here you can observe here someone has commented about uh, about the video telling like is asking a question and now my objective is I have to reply back okay now you can observe this comment okay this comment Angpro training comment whatever we have replied is nested in this comment so how do I create this type of comment and that can be done uh, using these bootstrap media object classes and that we called as nested media so let me jump back to my visual studio and right now let me create a nested media in the sense someone has questioned here telling like how can we create a series of tweets block comment threads using a bootstrap now I have to answer it how do I answer it I answered it uh, answer them right now by creating a nested media so how to, how to work with the nested media it's very simple uh, in the sense I have to reply my uh, reply the answer within this class media itself in order to create a nested nested media so what I'll do is first I'll copy this class okay and I have to place that class this element due element inside this media body to create a nested media so what I'll do is uh, end okay now I'm pasting that here again okay and after that I need to uh, reply so what I need to do is I need to take another due to that due um, what I need to do is before that I need to change the image and this is not sham and we have another one that is Ram okay Ram control s and now what I need to do is to this class I need to add media body and let me go and copy this content again just to save the time control V and right now this is not Sham he's the guy who's answering it so let me make it Ram and he has replied on August 16th okay and I need to add one paragraph the paragraph is the answer to the question uh, to the previous comment okay now uh, let me go and copy that answer uh, in my notepad this is my answer and I'll paste it here control s okay now this is called nested media so let me go back and let me refresh let me see how it renders it renders in this manner and this is exactly exact the way how we are doing it in here okay this is exact uh, it's from uh, YouTube comments 
but you can observe our comments also it resembles exact the same way so how did we did that and that can be done using the bootstrap media object classes okay you can observe here telling like sham is questioning on axis 16 telling like how can we create a series of tweets block comment threads using bootstrap and here is the answer from ram on august 16th okay this is what we call nested media i hope you understood understood like what do you mean by bootstrap media object and in this session as of now we learned only how to create a default media and a nested media okay and in the coming session we are going to learn more about this bootstrap media object and also we saw a beautiful demo and finally thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our youtube channel Ang Pro Training. you can also like our facebook page visiting these urls you can also follow us on twitter for further references you can visit our websites and we are on linkedin too last but not the least please don't forget to give the feedback thank you have a great day